I'd like to introduce the 2.0 firmware for Shred Lights Plus, which has three major updates. First is gonna be longer standby battery life, so your lights have more battery in between rides. Second is gonna be some updates to auto on off, making it a little more convenient to use. And third is gonna be advanced settings for the SLR1 Plus brake mode. First and most importantly, we increase standby battery life by up to 200%, so your lights last longer in between rides. The 2.0 firmware adds a new feature called Bluetooth Motion Wake that allows you to manage how Bluetooth is turned on after your lights go into sleep mode. Wait, what is sleep mode? After 20 minutes without motion, your lights will automatically enter sleep mode, turning Bluetooth off to conserve battery life. We set the timer to 20 minutes, so you still have a chance to control your lights from a distance before the Bluetooth connection is lost. Once your lights are in sleep mode, the 2.0 firmware defaults to Bluetooth Motion Wake being disabled meaning that Bluetooth will only turn back on by pressing the button on the side of the light. This will improve the standby battery life by up to 200%, but it comes with a small trade-off. You cannot use group on or control lights from the app until each light is turned on from the button. If you bought the new Shred lights to never turn on individual lights again, then just enable Bluetooth Motion Wake. That means when your lights are in sleep mode, any sort of motion will trigger the Bluetooth, allowing you to sync to the app or use one light to turn your group of lights on. Even with this feature enabled, we still managed to increase the standby battery life by up to 100% from the 1.0 firmware. I know all that can get confusing, so just to recap, either way, you'll see a nice improvement in standby battery life, and you can easily manage how Bluetooth is turned on from the app. Next up, we made auto on off a little more convenient to use. Now, your lights will only automatically turn on after they automatically turn off. So that means when you turn your lights off from the button or the app, they will not automatically turn on again. So you can just leave this feature enabled in between rides. We also adjusted the timing of auto on off. So now after your lights are sitting still for 30 seconds, they'll turn off instead of the previous time of two minutes. Once they automatically turn off, you can move them instantly to turn them back on instead of waiting two minutes like before. This makes it way more convenient to use this feature and conserve battery life while you're taking a break. Last but not least, we're giving you way more control on how brake mode works on the SLR1 Plus. Dial up the sensitivity to have brake mode occur more often, adjust the duration to set how long brake mode lasts, control the brightness level, and even set the pattern for what happens while you're braking. My favorite new pattern is rapid. I also like putting the sensitivity up to high and the duration to short, so that way people behind me always know when I'm slowing down, but it doesn't last too long and annoy them. So that's everything with the 2.0 firmware. To update your lights, make sure you have the latest version of the app downloaded from the App Store and your lights have at least 25% charge before updating. Let us know what you're most excited to try.